You can <laughs> let it rip. Hey, what's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com. So today, this was sent to us from Banggood, so thank you Banggood. This is the SG1203. It's a 1 12th scale drift RC tank. Now it has it here showing you the metal gears that are in it and everything. Really nice on that part. I believe this one's gonna have not only the rubber tracks, but it has the steel ones as well in this box. So, thing looks pretty cool. Now this is gonna be the white one as it's checked off here. Got the, so it's white. Uh, gives you all the caution as far as anything, you know, as far as ages go. It's gonna be for eight years and older. Gonna kinda give you different information as far as not leaving the batteries in there for longer than 30 days. All that good stuff, so make sure that you read up on all this cautionary stuff that's on here. But without further ado, let's get this thing out of the box because I'm excited to look at it and take a look at it. And this thing's got some weight to it. All right, so you have a little Lion battery here, 1200 milliamps. So I get you started. Charger for it as well. Very nice. Pretty simple as far as when it comes to that, as far as your radio, putting in your three AA batteries, how the vehicle works, as far as how it turns. So things that you'll want to take a look at anyhow. When it comes to this particular model here that has the steel tracks with it, you do get a little tool. It will just allow you to, well one, because it, since it is metal, it doesn't stretch at all. You can pop the little pin out. And then once you've done that, then you can, put this on the track itself or at least around here obviously taking the old one off but you get the idea on that part make sure you don't lose the pin keep an eye on them anyhow so they don't pop the radio out. itself is 2.4 gigahertz it's very light radio anyhow and that's probably pretty decent because for a kid you don't want nothing really heavy at all in the hand and there's your three double a's at the bottom it's very nice you know, just a little plastic steering wheel, what have you, just your basic stuff. So there's nothing to get messed up or fiddle with. It's just on and off, and that's it. Self, there are parts for this thing. So I already checked and made sure because that's gonna be a concern for anybody that's buying one of these too. Like, can we get any parts for it? It looks like, you know, it's probably toy grade. And uh, that's why I was like, okay, this is probably toy grade anyhow, just because, you know, where you put the battery. And so you will need a Phillips screwdriver. I already took the battery out of it, but you take the Phillips screwdriver out, push the two little tabs in, and you can put that put that battery in there. Now, like I was saying, as far as when it comes to replacement parts, there are replacement parts for it, and uh, quite a few of them. I was actually surprised. So, you know, some of the little pieces that are here, they can be replaced. The whole top shell can be swapped out as well, along with the electronics in it, and even just the radio itself. The radio is only like 12 bucks or something like that, and then as far as the electronic, the circuit board, it's like $9 at the time of doing this video. So not bad at all i was kind of like okay this thing's not going to have any parts on it but it does and uh speaking of parts and anything like that you know you can open up these little doors here too the kind of like gold wing whatnot um so definitely cool in there and you got the little bit of that little interior to it so cool and it has a little spot here put your little guys in there or whatnot so i'm gonna go ahead and get this thing turned on so we can see now there's the only batteries that are that come with it are just going to be that Lion battery that goes into the bottom. Uh, other than that, um, you just need the three AA. Right, so we got everything powered on. So three AA's at the bottom, got our radio turned and on. Also your on and off switch there in red. So easy enough on that part of it. Uh, just make sure when you're done running the vehicle that you unplug the battery and then go ahead and you can charge it up or at least stick it aside for the time being and make sure you're, and again with the batteries, you know how those are. So left in there for a long time, they will kind of leak. So you definitely want to take them out if they're going to be sitting around for 30 days or more. Now, when it comes to the vehicle, this thing's, it's got some power to it. So you can kind of go at a creep there and then you can let it rip. So I'll definitely, I like it, I like it. So it'd be cool to take it on a little trail or something like that. This thing's gonna be fun, for sure. Very good. So I'll have all the links in the description below. Um, so you just use that affiliate link, like I said, and uh, yeah, you can purchase one of these uh, and then you can use that same link to go ahead and look for parts as well. Definitely helps the channel. Appreciate you guys watching as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll have a running video of this here soon, but you saw a little bit of it anyway. And uh, don't forget to share this with your friends. Until next time, this is Joe with OMGRC. You guys take care and thank you again for watching.